All right, this is just a how-to of how to make a machine gun soda ball, a soda ball machine gun with the airsoft. So, we'll get her going here. You're gonna take 5 16 brake line, and I actually took, cut it with the cutter to, to length. I'm doing it about one inch from the back side of the soda bottle. So one inch, and then I actually took a flaring tool and flared the opposite end. You don't have to do that, but I prefer to. So we're gonna do this first to let the glue dry. We're gonna take this end and take drill through your soda cap, drill it out, push it in, you're twisted on there. You can put it in the slop and glue out, glue around it the best you can, but if you take the time to just drill it out just about the right size so it actually holds in the cap as well. So it's gonna look like this. Now from here we're gonna take hot glue. You can take an epoxy or anything really. We're gonna glue her up. Just keep it in hold, keep it in place while well, obviously the air is flowing through, not to push it all the way out. You could always come back and redo this, add more. I'm just trying to do it all at once for the sake of the video. Okay, we're gonna let this cool. Probably going to the next step. Alright, next you have your soda bottle. Want to dry it out? Go ahead and take a drill. I'm taking a step drill. You can take any drill. Drill a hole through the side. From there, you're going to take your air gun. And most of them, you have a couple different options. This one, you can see there's a hole right here. So you can take a file, stick it in, push it through, and tighten it that way. This one's a little different. It's actually got grooves for a wrench. So I'm going to take the wrench all at once. I like to add a washer so the Nozzle doesn't pull right through the soda bottle. You might find it easier to burn a hole in this because there's no embers on the side, but in the same sense, it's just as easy to drill a hole. From there, I'm putting a wash on the back side to again prevent the nozzle from going in. You don't need this washer. If it doesn't fit, I'll actually take it off, but we'll see what happens here. It's not gonna start for me, so just get rid of the washer here. I have my wrench on the inside, so I'm actually just turning the base. Base of the gun. You might have to actually loosen it and tighten it to get the gun handle pointing whichever way you want. This one actually worked out pretty good. So therefore, you could have it this way or flip it around so you're pushing it. So obviously you'll be holding it like this. So, I mean, a little flimsiness to it, but not too bad. All right, from there, we can go ahead, put this on. It's still tacky, so. I'm going to let it sit. I'll go to my other one. It's the one that's already previously built. So, again, it was just glued. Screws on like so. And you're literally ready to go. Nothing else to it. Take your BBs or your airsoft. There's airsoft in there, that's screwed in place. Screw the cap back on, and that's what it looks like. Quick demonstration.
you'll be able to see once I depress this, the air will go in and shoot them out one at a time. So here we go. And here I'm going, just like a machine gun. <laughs> 